children are your incentive because yeah. they are yeah. your life. Yeah, they're my life. Yeah. And I don't want to die. No. no. And, and I, I think what's the you other... You won't because you're here now and you're acknowledging everything. It's there's such an invisible population <laughs> of very overweight and very obese people who are almost invisible because they hardly go out. Mm. Because you're scared to go out the front door. It's an invisible... It's almost we don't see that problem yeah. because it's invisible. As far as you're, you're concerned, you, you're fascinating me today, I have to say, because uh, you are, this is, this is an entirely different Katie Hopkins than the one that we have had sitting on this sofa. Uh, I've never seen you be so warm, I've never seen you be so caring, I've never seen you, certainly never seen you uh, be so uh, empathetic with someone. Mm. Um, and has this experiment of yours changed your view? So it hasn't changed my view in that I would say I would say the same thing. So I stand by everything I said. I wouldn't employ a fat person. Looking at myself after three months, I would have employed me, to be honest, because being fat is hard. It's hard on your knees, ours. It's hard on your body, isn't it? It doesn't feel catch great. Your in your breath the, and everything. Really hard to catch your breath. And after I was on here last time, mm. it's the thing everyone said is, why is she gasping so much? But it... It's hard to get. Mm. It's hard to get a breath, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. But, but what I have eyes found is that. Tears yeah, now. because because you have a decent human. We all have a decent humanity, and I see it on Twitter as the amount of aggression and abuse directed. And I've obviously dealt with that every day of my life, and that's totally fine for me. But for someone who feels that their story was put across badly, for someone that feels that they've been dealt a hard hand by the media, you have a basic human compassion, but also you can see how at the point you're at, which is a huge amount of weight and a huge body mass, you do wonder how do you deal with that. All right, well, so no, it's all right for me to say, eat less, move more. But the reality is, tomorrow, that isn't going to happen. So you are today, sitting on the sofa, facing the reality, facing the person, uh, in, in physical form of all the things that you've said whilst you've been sitting yeah, and here. I, and I believe the things I've said. I don't change that. But I see how, because I've put on the weight, it was hard for me. I know people will say, well, she looks like a little skitty thing now. But, you know, things are relative. But for me, putting on 50% of my body weight, like if either of you put on 50% of yourselves, yes. you learn some things. And mm. I learned some big things, in which, which is that it's hard. In which case, when you're looking at trying to help somebody, and, and we're, we've, you know, so sitting here with Christina, and and, uh, and you are an extremely vulnerable person. You've mm. had a, been given a very, very hard time here. Mm. So so what's the next step? Yeah, how can how she help? How does she help herself? herself? Yeah. Because it's unlikely she is never going to get a voucher from the government. No, that's she's not, not going to happen. No, she's not, and that's right. And taxpayers at home wouldn't want that. And taxpayers are right to say, I'm out working. She's sat on a sofa. I'm not paying for that. And I agree with taxpayers every time. We would agree yeah, with that. Yeah, and I'm sure you would say the same. And this whole point about the gastric bypass, she doesn't want one because mm. she doesn't want to ask so the taxpayer for that. Do? Mm. Exactly. And so the people that have joined me on Twitter, the people that want to join what I've been doing, you know, we're trying to set up a way of saying, let's all find what the thing is that works for us and do that. I don't think there's a magic. Uh, formula but I think there's a way so you really love swimming yeah, yeah so if there was someone that could swim with you you'd feel better because yeah. what we've realized in the program is if you have someone to buddy with you you feel better because you feel safer that someone's not going to call you a name am mm. I am I right in saying that because of where you are in your head now that when you finish this interview or and you go home and you sit down and you reflect on the day you've had and it won't have been the best day you've ever had in your life no it's not will you comfort eat <laughs> no I've, I've not had since yesterday morning. I physically feel sick mm. with all this, what's happening. But could yeah. you, do you think, do you think that if a dietitian or if someone who, who, who could advise you, because it, it is possible to eat healthily yeah. and it not be expensive, yeah. because, because your portion size is decreased, yeah. the amount of food you If I had help with a dietitian advising me, giving me more information, then it would help more for Well, me. maybe we could help you with that. Maybe maybe we could do that, and, and, and maybe you could as well. well. I, all, all I have to offer with the people that I'll be working with to lose my weight is enthusiasm, really, but I can bring that in bounds, yeah. and all this idea that even if you can achieve one walk in your day, you've done a brilliant thing. Absolutely. That's a brilliant thing, yeah. and that's free. So I don't have a gym, I don't have a trainer, I don't have a nutritionist, I'm not having any of those things, so it's a level playing field for me. Mm. And I kind of say to people, you know, if you can walk, maybe this thing measures how many steps you do, maybe you could walk, say, a thousand steps a day, two thousand, and, and see that you've done that, then you feel better about yourself. Mm. So that's kind of how and I feel about it. maybe you can come back come back yeah, and we course. can take you through this and you can come back of course yeah. perhaps there there is something you have to want to do it that's yeah. the thing yeah. we've I have countless people who've walked in through those studio doors who've been part of 
loads of you know we want to lose weight together we want to lose we're running another one at the moment mm. uh, is about to start we want to lose weight as a couple mm. um, the amount of them that fail uh, is is colossal because they don't really of have course the, and, I, and I totally agree with you and I don't wish to interrupt you but um, uh, uh, strangely um, because I usually do but uh, uh, the people I've spoken to on the phone to see who was going to join me on my journey back down to losing weight a lot of people I've said no I'm sorry I can't take you because you're not prepared to be honest yet you're not prepared to be honest that you eat too much and you don't move enough whereas I feel someone like yourself I do eat too much and I don't move enough and I'll Brilliant. It. It's how you will admit it. and the first I step is the honesty and the honesty is the massive yeah, bravery absolutely. in this journey and she's done the bravest thing already uh, well, you've done a hugely brave you thing really and, 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 and the key obviously as I think we've even begun to get to the bottom of here is not it's not a voucher it is your head it's, you know, it's what yeah. you want to do it's, we will yeah. we'll let we, let's leave it here because um, I'm still rattled by the calm Katie that I'm sitting in front of me it's it's calm, but it I was an in anger about me so people on Twitter today. you go at her you take me on too so um, beware Let's uh, let's leave it there. Thank you for coming in today because it was a very very brave thing to do. Yeah, it's What's it's always there? interesting to meet yeah. the, the person behind the story. And thank yeah. you, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Well done.